in this video, we will talk about chaos. In the previous video, we discussed the situation of the initial condition being close to the equilibrium and what would happen, whether the solution to the ODE or to the IVP with that uh, initial condition uh, would actually stay close to the equilibrium or not. That was the question we addressed. Now, there is a marginal question, and the marginal question is if you actually consider two initial conditions that are close one to another, so you have two why nots, if you want, that are close one to another, will the solutions to the IVP uh, coming from these why nots be close or not? And if the answer is no, then you, it's not a good news. I mean, it's really actually a terrible news because it means that if you have a measurement error or if you have a numerical uh, problem or a, a approximation of error or something, then uh, the whole thing will go astray. So it's really bad news. Now, this is uh, part of the well-posedness requirement, as you know. Uh, an ODE will be well-posed when there is a solution. That solution is unique and... And, and that's really important, we have continuity of the solution with respect to the initial condition. So in other words, uh, that's exactly what we said. If you have two why not, two initial conditions that are close one to another, then the solution better be close one to another. Okay? Now, if you remember the equation of the pendulum, and if you remember the pendulum, then uh, that's uh, what we had. I mean, the ODE was uh, y, I mean, it was um, theta second equals a constant, negative constant, times sine theta, and that is actually well posed. All three requirements are met for the well posedness. So, what's important is that you basically have two initial conditions that close one to another, then the solutions will not be drastically different. So basically when, when, when you start with your pendulum, if it's not exactly 90 degrees, pi over 2, but it's like 91 degrees or 89 degrees, then it's not going to be a big deal. The solutions coming from these initial conditions will somehow look the same. It won't be exactly the same, but they would somehow look the same. They will be close one to another. So that's the situation for the pendulum. Now, what is the situation for a double pendulum? So a double pendulum is a pendulum attached to a pendulum. So you have two penduli and you look at what happens when you basically just, you know, just, 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 just let the pendulum go, the penduli go. Uh, and here's what happens. You can, you can see uh, see this again. I would like to thank uh, Stephen for allowing me to use his uh, his, uh, his video and the experiment he carried out. Um, so the question then is, what happens if instead of uh, starting with exactly a 90 degree angle for uh, you know like a straight uh, pendulum with a straight pendulum attached to it, you start with um, something else? Well, in the left animation, you basically start with both penduli that are horizontal, while on the right one, one of them is really rotated by a 0.1 radian. So it's really a small uh, variation, but it's a variation, a small variation. And here is the situation. You can see the way these two, uh, you know, the, 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 the way the, the, the system behaves. It's actually very different. I mean, the, you know, the, the initial conditions are really close, but the behaviors of the two systems are drastically different. This is called chaotic. So the behavior of the system is chaotic when small differences in the initial conditions produce very different outcomes. And what it means is that long-term predictions are basically, uh, well, I mean, it's basically impossible. It's just very, very difficult to do so. Uh, and you see, what, what's interesting is that even though the systems are perfectly deterministic, I mean, the, 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 you have the equations. I mean, it's not, there is absolutely no uh, stochastic, any, anything. I mean, it's really completely deterministic. But what happens is that if you have a slight variation in your, in your initial conditions, then it will really make your system behave differently. And again, 
on the long run, uh, there's absolutely no way you can actually predict what's going to happen. So this is also called the butterfly effect, which means that a small change in air pressure due to a butterfly flapping its wing can actually lead to a storm somewhere. And maybe if the butterfly had not uh, flapped its wing this way, well, then the, uh, the, the, the storm would have been somewhere else. I mean, you know, it's, so, so it's basically what we're saying is that we have a very uh, a system which really depends heavily on the initial condition. So that is uh, basically what, what, what chaos means. And as you can see, one of the reasons why we have uh, so many problems uh, forecasting the weather is actually because we have chaotic uh, systems and uh, where very small differences uh, can actually lead to drastic differences uh, in the solutions. Therefore, you think it's going to rain and actually it's uh, uh, really a beautiful day. Uh, I would like to finish this video by uh, quoting um, well, Edward Lawrence, who has been uh, really the, the person who has started the whole uh, chaotic, I mean, that was worked extensively on this. And uh, his, uh, his, um, his quote is, is this one, chaos is when the present determines the future, but the approximate present does not approximatively determine the future.